Hey guys, welcome to Higan Eruthil. So before we go to my account uh, review based on one day and free to play, let's uh, you know let's discuss first if you are stuck at level twenty nine. I'm actually at level thirty right now, and if you're asking me how I did it, most of us got stuck actually at some stage because we cannot clear. Um, we, we cannot go to level 30 and some of the content are locked behind level 30. So just a quick suggestion or quick uh, diversion. You just have to make sure that you you finish your dailies here. A couple of dailies will push you um, over level 30. So what I did was get 250, 250, and 150 here. In fact, I was even I even started today at level 28 nearing level 29 so um if you just if your problem is just unlocking stages that uh, can be unlocked at 30 do your dailies do your daily missions and that is your solution because you'll be getting xp here you'll be even be getting another 350 which you don't need as you can see i'm at level 30 um i just went past 20 uh, 29 um sorry i went past 30 a couple of minutes ago so that is a simple solution guys don't you know don't stress out you'll get there eventually so with that said moving past 29 or 28 um i'd like to you know to show you where i've been at so far so i've I, i'm here i'm already clearing clearing um a lot of, i'm sorry I'm, I'm cleansing here i'm stuck here already i'm at 93 percent. i think this is for the 100 percent. so i'm at region cleanse already uh, also guys most of um, my outland is unlocked up to where you know where we could not play beyond level 30 so this one is oh, okay this is unlocked already because i'm at level 30 as i've said um, just do your dailies. Don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. And um, I am free to play, obviously. Um, I don't have a way to to top up. And what I'll do is I'll, remain, I'll make this account a free to play. When Global comes out, I'll do that as a paid account. So at least I could compare if you're a free to play player or a paid player. What are the differences? Is there a significant, you know, there, there, there is going to be a significant, you know, bump up in terms of how far you can go. But definitely, if you're a free-to-play uh, player, I don't think that you'll be you'll be at a disadvantage that much. Because I, I've been playing this from CBTs. And um, I noticed that even your, your lower rarity... Lower rarity, um, what they call this, uh, characters can really, really be used and can move you forward. Um, you don't have to have the tier 1s or the tier 0s to enjoy this game. I learned that already from the CBT that, uh, that at that time, you can't really pay for anything. So you're still free to play. But the progress and the enjoyment that I had for this game was was actually also nice. It it It... It uh, made me um, hungry for more gameplay. But it, of course, if there's going to be PvP, you're going to be dropping off PvP if you're free to play. Okay, so again, if you're after the PvE experience, then it's not really a problem gaining um, SSR units or Tier 0, Tier 1 units. These are just fine. So as you can see here, uh, yeah. I got Siakom from the banner already. Um, for, for the reroll, I got Fen. So when I got Fen, I was actually happy already because I used Fen before and I was happy with her performance. For the free SSR in the banner, I got a copy of Media, which was a bummer because I could have had another, you know, another copy. But Media, I think, is going to be good with single targets, not not much with a lot of enemies single targets i think she's gonna be good i'm gonna do a review of her i haven't played uh with her kit much but uh, soon i'll have a review so that you know um at this point i'm still balancing out my team i can't fit media actually in my main team so my main team 
is composed of Siakom at the back, Fen at the back as well, and Roko at the back. So I have three people at the back and one at the front. So what I did was when I got Armand today, I made sure that Armand was at the front. I just had to have one healer and I had Siakom because Siakom can have a minion to fight alongside the front and Fen for AoE. So my roster right now is built for clearing PvE stages. I put Queen here just in case I need more firepower in the front or probably an assassin to do AoE. So and also Queen was my front line before Armand. So <laughs> that is it. So I'm actually happy happy with what I have. So there's 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 a point wherein I will need Eluya. Hopefully I'll get her. I, I want her on my team. And that's it. So so far. So far I don't see Sirslet here. I don't know why. Anyway, um Eluya, I I I I want to have her on my team eventually. Um she's good for for really dealing burst damage and Gildan eventually I will need her um, to be a better I think she's a better tank than the Armand but for now I can't complain I'm free to play and I'll play with whatever I have and I think I think this game has been really interesting and really fair for free to play players um even even the 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 amount of um, of uh, summon tokens or summon currency it has been generous and i can't complain so so far i'm happy with the first five i probably just need one more if i have um if i have eluya then i'm actually happy with this lineup already i cannot complain i have follet here i can use her i have clover here i can use her um again as for the bottom that I have, I don't think I'll be using some of them. But um, again, guys, if you're free to play, um, this game is going to be generous to us. I don't think you are going to have a problem as long as you do your reroll properly. You don't really need a tier 0, tier 1 character. Um, I have a tier 1 here and I have a tier 2. And they're good. Harman is tier 2. Queen is tier... I think tier... 0? Forgot. Chlor is tier 0. I'm not sure. But but again, my point is... You don't really need to have a lot of OP characters to play this game. This game is dependent on how you synergize well during battle. How you, you customize... Each player, each each hero is customizable. By the way, if you don't know that yet, so you can customize, you can strategize. Again, this game, I'll be saying this now. At this point, at this early in the game, it is free to play friendly, but it might change in the future. We'll see if my opinion changes. But as of this moment, and as far as the previous CBTs that I played. So far, this game is free-to-play friendly. Okay? So, again, guys, um, that is my account so far. I'm happy with it. I'm so happy with it. Not, I'm not. I'm going to remove the so. I'm happy with it, um, content with it, and I think I can push through any of the content with the team that I have. So, if you have a similar team with what I have, or if you have a better team than what I have, then... If you have a better team, then good. If you don't have um similar one to what I have, I only have what? Siakum here was a very lucky pull. So, again, if I only had Fen, I would still be happy if I don't have didn't have Siakum. But again, guys, um try to try to um uh make sure you understand what your heroes are capable of. Because again, it doesn't at this point doesn't really matter if they're SSR or SR or R. Most of them are serviceable. Chlor is one of the best mages out there. I just uh, put Siakom in because of the minions that, that Siakom provides. But again, Chlor is actually good. Uh, one of, I think, the best starting um, casters or magic users that we have. So, 
that is it, guys. I don't wanna, you know, uh, um, I don't wanna spend much of your time. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys would uh, put down also uh, what your thoughts on your account. Um, how have you been progressing so far after a day or two? Then also, guys, I would appreciate that if you subscribe. I plan to put out a lot of uh, guides for for Higana Ruthil up until global launch and probab and not probably and beyond. So soft launch up until global and to wherever this game takes us. Again, it's only it's it will really boil down to how the developers would evolve this game. This game is already nice as it is. One of the uh, probably the best games that I've played. I'm not saying this because I'm playing this or I'm advertising it, but one of the best games I've ever played. One of the best mechanics, balanced at at this point. If global comes out and they could even improve it, then I'd be happier. But again, this is my account, and hopefully, guys, you have put through or you put together a better team than I did. So again, I want to hear from you. How's your team? How are you progressing from day one to day two? So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.